All right, in today's video, we're gonna go over how you can run multiple configuration setups using GitHub Actions matrix parameter. So if you've read the documentation, you know that you can configure a matrix, which GitHub Actions sets up, and then you know it builds various configurations of your job. So in the example they have provided, they've set a node value of an array six, eight, and 10, and then they've used this matrix output to output their node version uh, into this node version parameter. So what GitHub Actions is doing behind the scenes is it's building up a matrix of these values and then running three jobs, one with node value six, one with node value eight, and then a final one with node value of 10. And then you can take it a step further and define multiple values in, under the matrix. And then GitHub Actions is gonna build these matrix, build a matrix out of these values altogether. So it'll first run Ubuntu 16.4 on node six, and then node eight, and then node 10, and then it'll run 18, 0.04 on node 6, 8, and 10. So at the end of this, we've actually ran six builds, each with a different configuration. And then you can get you know, pretty advanced where you say, okay, given a various configuration, also include extra data. So we can say here, if we're running on Windows 2016 and node 4, then we have to use NPM version 2. Or we can do the opposite and say, if we're running a certain configuration, skip this build. So if we're running Mac OS 10.4.14 and we're on node four, don't run this. So then Mac OS 10.14 will run on node six, eight, and 10. And then Windows and Ubuntu will run on nodes four, six, eight, and 10. One thing that the documentation doesn't make clear is that you can actually define any value and any key you want under the matrix. So as an example, if you wanna run you know, five different Docker containers for your job, you can do that using a container key and then an array of your container tags. And then under the container property down here, just do matrix.container and the container will be spit out properly. So what I have in my example here is I have one container and then I have another parameter named foo with two values of bar and baz. And then I echo out the foo variable, you know, when I start my JS build. What happens is you can see on the left, we have two build JS jobs that ran. The first one had OC Media Laravel CI 7.3 as our container, and then bar as our value for foo. And when we echoed out foo, we got bar. And then our second build JS had OC Media Laravel CI 7.3 as a container, and then baz as the foo variable. And again, when I echo out foo, I get baz. So this is how you can configure GitHub Actions to build exactly what you need, even if you use Docker containers. The good thing about this as well is that GitHub Actions is going to run these jobs in parallel, so the overall workflow will run a lot faster than having to wait for each job to finish. That's especially important if you have, you know, five containers and then three node versions. That's going to be 15 different jobs you have to run. All right, so that's all I wanted to show. If you liked the video, please leave a like, share it, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on Twitter at Owen Conti.